it was easy, everyone would do it. Oh, yep. Man, this is not easy. <laughs> like I had, you know, chopped off he my head. He looked like a completely different person. Right. Good way to get your day started. Right, CJ? It's just deep, dude. It's deep. It's like, it might as well be just cut my leg off right at this point, dude. Fuck, it hurts. This is the moment of a lifetime. The clock's ticking like my lifeline. Until I flatline, I push it to the red line. Who gonna stop me high? Who gonna stop me high? Breath taking a move. I make, I give it everything I got Cause that what it takes, I push the This is behind the beard the of the brave, the soul of a This is different, guys, this, this is so different, is so different. Alright, next Who gon' stop me in my moment? Who gon' stop me when I'm going? My name is Dr. Manoli Menelikakis. I'm an oral and max. No, cut. Blooper. <laughs> yeah, I love bloopers. My name is Dr. Manoli Menelikakis. I'm a facial cosmetic and reconstructive surgeon. This is Behind the Beard 2. Behind the Beard just explains who I am, what my practice is all about. Also gets into my mindset on how I have my outlook or what I, my outlook is on life. So today we have a patient who had previous uh, minimally invasive neck and face skin tightening and facial rejuvenation. Uh, that procedure was called face tight, and, and uh, with, which is radio frequency skin tightening. And we combine that with a procedure called My Elevate. My Elevate is a device that's used to suspend the neck muscles so that we create a much more defined lower face and neck. So that was done about six weeks ago and the second part of her procedure is going to be what we're doing today and that's called Morpheus 8 which is radio frequency micro needling um, and then through the process we're going to be providing thousands and thousands of little needles penetrating into the skin and every time that needle penetrates the skin we're going to create a thermal injury using radio frequency energy the energy itself will create this thermal damage beneath the skin surface. Then your body responds to that. It creates collagen, skin tightening, better complexion, um, better texture of the skin. And again, this is a newer technology, really something, you know, microneedling has been around for many, many years, but the combination of microneedling with radio frequency has really taken us to the next level. You just crack your knuckles. How'd you do that? Really? How long have you been doing that for? Since I was like seven. Really? I'm sure your parents loved it. So Maria is our fellow. She started with us in July. Will be with us until next June. And then she's out of here. She's going to Chicago. Hi, my name is Dr. Maria. I am Dr. Manolakakis' fifth fellow for his aesthetics uh, fellowship. Uh, so, Dr. Manolakakis, one of the reasons I wanted to train under him is I actually watched Behind the Beard somewhere between my initial emails with the team and my interview. Uh, and I noticed that he has a very similar sense of humor to the way I kind of joke around. Is there any time you can't crack your knuckles? Is it crack on demand? Yeah, so once we start giving people some medications, they start to feel a little bit more relaxed. You know, people are intense. I mean, they're having a procedure on their face. They're pretty, you know, they're pretty tense. No matter, even if they look like they're, like, relaxed and stuff, you know, having some reactions like, oh, you're the bomb, or you're the best. And, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, it's a it's a decompression of the stress for them. Um, and we get to see how they may really be in, in real, like, life. I the best, man. All right, man. Man. Good stuff. Are we getting there? We're getting to a good spot? Hmm? So the amount of passes that we did on her neck, if she were awake, she would have quit after the first pass, right? 
people who do this stuff away cannot have as an aggressive uh, micro needling with radio frequency as I did to me. It's all these little micro channels that we've created, those little injuries. The skin surface itself, just little puncture holes. Within, 40, within 24 hours, 48 hours, these things are completely closed off. So today's, today's case went really well. We uh, had no anesthetic uh, complications. She did wonderful with that. Uh, the microneedling procedure went without any uh, hiccups. Over the next several weeks, she should start seeing that the skin's gonna be tightening, the next skin laxity is gonna be improving, the firmness that we saw today should also relax, and she should just feel a million times better. Comfortable room temperature for me during surgery, or in this room itself, is probably anywhere from 55 to 60. Anything over 65 is torture. The second we're done doing this, she'll probably be sleeping for about another five minutes or so and then wake up and then um, go to recovery, hang out there for about 30 minutes. We'll put her under a LED light with a mask for about 10 minutes. And um, she'll be ready to go. I try to keep it out of the box. I, I try to keep it fresh. I think that if you um, stay too much inside the box, uh, you get stale and no one likes stale chips. Everyone wants that chip to be nice and crunchy. Um, so I'm a crunchy chip. Day, man. Long day. We're going to Jao Paulo's art show. It's all his, all his art over the last ten years or so, maybe even longer. Um, we're going to Roosevelt Island, which is going to be pretty dope. It's going to be pretty special. I thought there was nothing on this island. I thought it was basically open space. So we're coming in, we're seeing our buddy Jao Paulo Rodriguez, Aquasata Tattoo. He's got an art show going, 20 years of his work. Dude's on fire. If you need to get a tattoo, you get it from him. You need art, you get it from him. He's a cool dude, Brazilian born, New York City bred, and we're gonna have some fun tonight. Let's go check this out. I might be a little biased here because I made it. Let's go check out Pasquale. You look in the camera, like, so we're good? No, no. I oh, look at you. <laughs> Wait until she pulls out the shears. No. Fucking earlobe comes off real quick. <laughs> this is behind the beard, too. <laughs> 